New questions tonight about Syria. Is the Obama administration out of time to come up with a new plan to halt the slaughter there? Have the administration's decisions to date left the president and his advisors without any good options to pursue at this point? Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen has that from the White House tonight. From the rebel-held city of Aleppo, nearly destroyed by a ferocious Syrian and Russian air campaign, a rare spot of good news as rescuers saved a little girl believed to be five years old from the wreckage of a strike on Tuesday that killed at least 23 people. A world away with prospects for U.S.-Russian collaboration to stem the bloodshed in Syria all but extinguished, Secretary of State John Kerry, visibly frustrated, appeared to acknowledge the paucity of options now left to the Obama administration. What is the alternative? Is the United States of America going to go to war in Syria? I, I don't think that's about to happen. Angry over Russia's intensified military role in Syria, Kerry has spent much of this week threatening to sever communications with Moscow, but his language was less than forceful. We're going to have to... Uh, pursue other alternatives for a period of time, barring some clearer indication by the warring parties uh, that they're prepared to consider how to approach this more effectively. The Wall Street Journal reported that the National Security Council is again weighing whether to provide vetted rebel groups with anti-aircraft systems, something the White House wouldn't confirm. In some cases, we're limited in discussing this contingency plans because they haven't been uh, cleared for public discussion. As President Obama headed to Israel to speak at the funeral service for former Israeli President Shimon Peres, the Deputy Secretary of State faced blistering criticism over Syria policy at the Senate Foreign Relations Committee where the chairman faulted the administration for not having a plan B in place once the ceasefire brokered with Russia, as many predicted, collapsed. I know Russia doesn't believe there's a plan B. Assad doesn't believe there's a plan B. Iran doesn't believe there's a plan B. How can a secretary of state have any chance of success in ending the murder, the torture, the rape, the bombing of innocent people, the killing of young people, when the White House is unwilling at any level to have a backup to what he's doing if diplomacy fails. One of the president's top spies, CIA director John Brennan, told a Washington audience on Wednesday that Syria is the most complicated and vexing issue he has dealt with in his 36-year public career. Brennan also acknowledged that, quote, a lot has happened that none of us were able to foresee. And in that category, he placed the rise of ISIS. Brett. James Rosen, live on the North Lawn. James, thank you.